Hey, hey, everybody, it looks like 2024 is going to be the year of lawsuits, okay? I mean, we ended it in the last quarter of 2023, and it's carrying through, and I think it's not going to end until perhaps December of 2024. So Terrence Howard is suing his ex-agency, his ex-talent agency, said they did him dirty. They didn't pay him right. You know, ever since Taraji spoke out, people have been looking at their past tax returns, thinking about the money they made or did not make, and they want somebody to compensate them. So he said that his agency did him dirty. Why? Because not only were they representing him when he did the show Empire, they was representing Lee Daniels in the production company at the time. Now, what a, a conflict of interest in that. So he said, as a result, they didn't care about getting him a higher salary because getting him a higher salary would mean less money for the agency and Lee Daniels in the production company. So their uh, agency asked the courts to throw it out, but Terrence Howard is fighting hard. Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. <laughs> So utterly meritless, Terrence Howard, ex-agent Sam's actor's lawsuit over claims he was unpaid on Empire due to racist bias. Terrence Howard's former agents fired back at the actor's claim he should have been paid substantially more money during his time on Empire. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, the creative artist agency, CAA, asked the court to dismiss the bombshell lawsuit brought by Howard. Back in December, Howard sued his ex-agency for breach of fiduciary duty. In the lawsuit, Howard claimed his agents were not looking out for his best interest when they came when it came to his salary on Empire. Howard played Lucas I'm Lying on the Fox drama for six seasons. The show was produced by 20th Century Fox TV. In his lawsuit, Howard claimed his agents not only represented him, but they represented producers Lee Daniels and Danny Strong in a package deal that made CAA a ton of money. Now, that's a conflict of interest. Howard said that the agency had a proper participation stake through the package. He claimed CAA was interested in making sure the show made the most profit possible. As a result, he said they were not looking out for him when it came to pushing for a higher salary for him. He argued they were not interested because it decreased their profit. The practice of agency being paid packaging fees was banned in 2020. Howard claimed CAA did not share details of the packaging deal with him during the time. In his filming, Howard pointed out that he was paid substantially less then the House of Cards star Kevin Spacey, our Man Man star John Hamm, despite Empire being in more viewers than both shows. Howard was initially paid 125k per episode, but it rose to 325k per episode over time. Howard believed that 325 per episode was well below the white his white counterparts. Ooh, with 325 an episode is a lot of money. Not only did it become abundantly clear that his agents led him on a path to rely on information that was misleading, he discovered that it was the result of the fact that CAA was not acting in his best interest, but in the interest of their own financial benefit, as well as in the interest of the production companies and the producers, Daniel, Daniels, Lee Daniels, and Strong, the complaint read. Now, in a newly filed response, CNA argued having filed his complaint asserting claims for fraud and breach of fiduciary duty um, permissed on C C um, 
CAA's alleged role as a packaging agent on the television show Empire in December 2023, nine years after Howard admits that CNA explicitly told him it was acting as the show's packaging agent, seven years after Howard admits he suspected the alleged injury of which he now complains, that he was not paid enough. And more than four years after the highly publicized Writer Guild of America packaging lawsuit was filed against CNA and other agencies, which Howard quotes in his complaint. They added Howard's claims are utterly meritless. The agency said the claims are also barred by the statute of limitations. CNA demanded the entire case be tossed out immediately. Mm -mm. At a press conference following the lawsuit being filed, Howard claimed the matter was a racial issue. I can't say for certain that it was a racial issue, but I can't imagine other counterparts, a white counterpart with the same accolades, name recognition, and numbers that I had receiving a low ball pay that I was receiving, he told Rolling So. I drank the Kool-Aid. I believe that I was going to get paid or that I was going to get compensated proper, properly, but I wasn't. I just didn't want to piss anyone off, okay? Um, they had big companies to go to war against, but sooner or later, you got to stand up because you're just trampling over the rights of the artists. Of course, they asked them for, um, you know, a... Uh, 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 comment and they didn't comment. So Radar Online first reported Taryn Howard was involved in another legal battle over a separate project in 2022. Listen, guys, this is messy. Listen, but this is my opinion. 325 per episode is, is, is a lot of money, but I can understand if he's saying that counterparts on other shows that wasn't as popular was getting more. I do get his complaint, but let me know your thoughts. Anyway, guys, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, guys, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.